lots of uh, big buildings, mansions, quiet, rich, it's in big cars, big houses, Jewish people. Yeah. So welcome to London anyway, if you're not from here. This is uh, London still, England, United Kingdom, the world, the universe. <laughs> Morning, it's Big Japa here, how are you doing? Uh, today I'm going for a little walk that I've always wanted to do, but I never get time to do. And somehow today I woke up and I thought, well, I'll have to do it. So I'm in uh, North London and uh, around Stock Newington and this there's uh, this little water reservoir, Woodbury water reservoir that I always wanted to visit because I always see it on uh, off the main road when I'm taking a bus going home or going wherever. Uh, around Stamford Hill, that's where I am around Stamford Hill where there's uh, this nice building development as you're going towards Manor House so if you are in that area of Seven Sisters, Tottenham going towards uh, Manor House, Finsbury Park uh, you will have come across these uh, buildings and uh, yeah probably seen the little water reservoir and that's what I'm here to see today uh, it's called the Woodbury wetlands it's not very big but very very interesting it's my kind of thing you know it might not be what many people fancy but if you've seen my channel uh, in the uh, my introductory video about me I, s I mentioned that I like things like this this is what I love going for walks in quiet places and uh, yeah hopefully <laughs> uh, someone might find this interesting so here we are anyway this is a uh, Woodbury water reservoir as you'd expect uh, not many people here there's a bit of information here about this uh, here it says this artificial water body was dug out by hand in 1833 to store drinking water and was named the Stock Newington East Reservoir from the early 1990s with more people living in the neighborhood Chlorine and ammonia were added to clean the water and prevent freshwater mussels growing and blocking up water pipes. Unfortunately, this process killed almost all the wildlife in and around the water. Chemical usage was stopped here in the 1990s. The raw water is now treated at copper mill filter beds in Walthamstow. This has allowed nature to flourish so yeah uh, I've been to copper mills filter beds uh, I think I've done a video around there. I'm not actually sure if I did post that video up on YouTube no I actually did but there was another video which I did not that is going up the um, the copper mill the actual copper mill um, tower I somehow lost the footages I think yeah but anyway here we are it's a very very quiet place there's plenty of uh, you know birds ducks wildlife to make it simple all over the area and uh, if you enjoy this kind of thing it's uh, definitely one of uh, those things to places to visit look at that so yeah 
the local area around Woodbury Wetlands has been constantly changing over the last 600 years. Uh, that's what I read and he said the Woodbury Down area has once was once a wooden landscape where wild deer and boar roamed, which would have uh, felt a long way from urban London. The Duke of Northumberland owned much of the land and used the area for hunting. By the early 1900s, Woodbury Down was a very wealthy London suburb. Along the northern edge of what is now Woodbury Wetlands stood a number of mansions with huge gardens backing onto the new river. Albert Chevalier, a famous entertainer of the time, lived at Lake House and was buried at a nearby Abney Park Cemetery. Yeah, I did do a video of uh, Abney Park Cemetery. Yeah, well, uh, I won't say much about it. If you wish to know anything about it, you can check out the video, Abney Park Cemetery. Oh wow, looks like um, there is a cafe there which is nice after your walk you can sit down and enjoy a nice cup of coffee or tea in the 1930s London County Council compulsorily purchased and demolished the house of Woodbury Down to build a modern housing estate new homes were needed for people living in the crowded and in sanitary tenement blocks at the East London, which had been damaged during the Second World War. It was known in the 1950s as the Estate of the Future and at the time was one of the largest housing developments in Europe. Today, the Woodbury Down area is undergoing further major regeneration. The reservoir, close to the public since it was built in 1833, is now open. A heaven for wildlife and people alike. People like me. Yeah, Woodbury Wetlands opening and closing times from 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, so this is my first time here and uh, I don't really know what I'm doing or anything. I just thought I'll walk and uh, check it out. So we're exploring this together. <laughs> I'm hoping this will lead me to somewhere near Stamford Hill Broadway. That would be nice because I don't want to have to walk all the way to the end of nowhere and then walk again back. It's, it's not a bother but you know it would be just nice if it connected to an exit somewhere that I don't have to walk back. Yeah that would be nice. You know, not many people here, just one or two. Hello. Yeah, she didn't ignore me. She's got her headphones on. But um, I wouldn't be surprised anyway. But like on our quiet walks like this, you actually get very nice people. Almost everyone says hello. Um, yeah. I guess it's uh, like-minded people. <laughs> well, that's nice. Small little bench there. I like this, uh, if you're tired you can sit down on a bench. Surely there must be a way, you know, an exit round somewhere there. I really do hope so. Anyway, yeah, it's not a big water. Uh, I'm always attracted to water. It's not a huge one. 
it's not like uh, the Waldam store one uh, which is massive but nevertheless uh, I like it so I'll probably go Stanford Hill from here that's why I mentioned I hope this leads me somewhere I think it's gonna go to Bethan Road and that's where I normally see this when I'm on the bus at around there so I'm hoping I'll be able to exit from around there anyway it's a nice little view from here if you're a nature lover with that sort of uh, backdrop there are lots and lots of these uh, buildings coming up around the area um, yeah property developers doing their thing <laughs> okay open every day Okay, there is a little bit of a map, I think. Well, quite a few people coming from up there. So yeah, that's the cafe over there. Where I came, a long way. It's just one long round walk. Um, I mean, you know, this is, it's not everybody's kind of thing, this, but like I mentioned, you know, this is what I like, and I always saw it, and you know, I thought, well, I wanted to go out for a walk, and I decided I'll come and check it out. So. It's lovely for me, <laughs> don't get it wrong. It's just my kind of thing, quiet, nice place. But uh, I'm just thinking in terms of uh, other people looking at it, they might not see anything to it. Hello. Yeah. So there you are. Beautiful, nice tree there. <laughs> commentary on the tree oh look how beautiful it is look at the leaves oh look at the branches and look how it's positioned between those flats of block uh, flat of block of flats <laughs> and wow look at that tree again and whoa two people coming <laughs> yeah let's see if they say hello to me mm. Yeah. Hello. Uh, that, yeah. yeah. Oh, what I've been noticing is uh, these little friends of ours. Keep on. So a lot of them here. Trying to cross from one side of the road to the other, the part. I hope he makes it safely to the end. <laughs> yeah, you can easily just walk on one of them because you might think it's like a little tree stem or something. That's what they look like. And as they're not moving fast, look, there's another one coil there. So that is, you can easily just, you know, squash one. <laughs> How about then? Okay, decision time. Should I go this way or should I go that way? Hmm. Okay. Sightseeing boat. Green Finch, Pika Pika, Blue Tits, Common Town, Robin, 
woodpecker okay so yeah if you are a bird watcher and stuff like that you like then yeah you, you will like this place so I think I will go this side oh hello can I come out to the main road there yeah. oh thank you Perfect. It's a beautiful dark forest. So yeah, that's uh, a relief that I can get out. And I don't have to walk back all the way to the other side. And since I wanted to go to Stanford Hill Broadway, it's uh, perfect for me, yes. does it say well I guess the same thing is said at the end of the other side welcome to Woodbury wetlands a London wildlife trust nature reserve and an operating drinking water reservoir please come in and explore this wonderful wildlife oasis free of charge you'll find a welcoming cafe heritage buildings beautiful red beds hidden woodland trails wildflower meadows and much more yeah free of charge you don't have to pay 12 fun <laughs> you don't have to spend money to have fun come out enjoy the wildlife for free in central London okay so where do I get out I think this way that over there should be the main road uh, going to Stamford Hill Not quite the road I was hoping I'd come out in, but um, I'm in and around the area, so I know I'm around, not very far from where I need to okay, all right then. So, walk around. So I just can't, I just can't on week two. Yeah, so that was nice. I'm happy I did that because I wanted to do that and I did it. So that is one thing off the list. I must say I'll come again another time because, uh, yeah, it was nice. Not very far from my home and I've decided recently to just check out various streets in and around my home area you know you know like you can live in a place and you just look at places you know but you never actually explore you know streets just nearby but you never actually walked on that street so I've been doing that kind of thing recently quite a lot just say okay I'll not use this path the usual normal way I'll, I'll take a different route and uh, yeah just explore different areas I think I can uh, safely call myself an explorer 
these days. Okay. Yeah, actually, I realize where I am right now. I didn't think I would get off at this particular street. I didn't think the wetlands would lead me to this street, but I know where this street leads to. And uh, yeah, I'm in safe hands. My own hands. <laughs> Yeah, I see quite a few Orthodox Jewish people around and you know what that means Stamford Hill You can see there, that's the signpost for the uh, Woodbury wetlands. So, and as I thought, that road there, there's a signpost. I don't know if you can see from here. It says uh, Bethune Road, and that's exactly where I thought I was gonna go. So, right here. I could actually walk um, down that road and get to where I need to go which I think will be more fun rather than going to Bethune Road so but anyway I've never walked this road neither have I walked the other one but yeah I think for the sake of it I just walked down here and uh, just explore it. This is Stamford Hill, North London Stamford Hill and obviously Stamford Hill if you don't know already is uh, known for having the largest population of Jewish Orthodox uh, Jewish people, uh, all these houses and things and most businesses around this area and probably safe to see around London as well <laughs> yeah Jewish people are business people they 
do very very well in business so yeah this is a Jewish area stuff of hell uh, as you can see all around area is very very quiet as you'd expect lots of uh, big buildings mansions quiet rich it's in big cars big houses Jewish people yeah so welcome to London anyway, if you're not from here, this is uh, London still, England, United Kingdom, the world, the universe, <laughs> yeah, so anyway, yeah, it was interesting, I wanted to do a walk and uh, decided to do the reservoir, the uh, Woodbury wetlands at that uh, uh, initially I just thought I'd do the Woodbury wetlands but uh, then I thought you know I carry on up to the end of the road which we have come to now and uh, yeah, this here is Wood uh, Bethan Road. All right, and going up there is a different road going up uh, towards Manor House. This side. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. Hope you've uh, enjoyed it, and I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.